YouTube. This is uh, iTweet Magazines. We're bringing you another educational video on how to do a, a bootable, how to create a bootable scan uh, disk. Well, I'm using a scan disk, but how to make a drive, a bootable drive for your Mountain Lion OS X. Um, it'll enable you to, and allows you to do to install it to other Macs uh, machines as well instead of having you go down and download it again so pretty much the first step is what you do is get in your app store uh, click on purchases if you have already purchased it um, which is really cheap $19.99 you cannot beat that for an upgradable version um, once it opens up uh, this is the OSX mountain line you're gonna click download and it'll take its time to download uh, once it's downloaded, you're going to have to go to Finder, uh, go to Applications, right-click. Uh, you see it downloaded, so it's in my applications now. Uh, you can see it in a different view right over here. Uh, you're going to right-click and show uh, contents so you can see the actual file. And once you click that, uh, you're going to go to Shared Support. I will have all that broken down step-by-step step also in the below um, the lo below descriptions okay so and then you get a double click on the installation and it's gonna open it up and it's gonna look uh, something like this once it's good to go it's opened up you're gonna um, access another application that comes already with your mountain line OS X into utilities and you're gonna click on boot camp assistant I'm sorry take that back on disk utilities once you get Disk Utilities opened up, uh, this is what you're going to get. Uh, the 8 gig right here that I have, as you can see, I have um, erased it and gave it a title which called it OS X Boot. Um, I'm going to redo it again to show you for the purpose. So you're going to choose Mac OS X Extended. Uh, you're going to give it a name. So in this case, I'm going to give it a what the hell I tweet magazines uh, boot so I know this is the bootable uh, drive and uh, you're gonna click erase and it's gonna erase everything that's on it and create a new uh, partition for it give it some time we'll go through that uh, as you can see it's uh, giving you a progress status over here showing you where it's at as soon as that's done you'll be good to go Okay, so as you can see, it created it right here, and it's right there. It's good to go. So come back to the 8 gig uh, scan disk one more time. Uh, go to Restore, select Restore tab. Under the 8 gig scan disk, not the iTweet Magazine's boot that we just created, uh, it's going to have two, two uh, you're going to have a source, and you're going to have a destination. So, of course, uh, your source, you want it to be, uh, where are you going to get it from? So what do you want to put on there? So you're going to drag and drop the Mac OS X installation into it, into the source. Um, you're going to drag and drop, as you can see. There it is. So now we're going to, our destination, which is the thumb drive, we're going to drag and drop the new iTweet magazine we just created, boot drive, into the final de destination, where it's going to be where all the content will be at. Once you have it done just like this, you're gonna click restore. It's gonna ask you again to verify that, hey, we're gonna delete everything on that thumb drive, uh, just in case you have anything on there you wanna keep, which we don't, we already partitioned it. You're gonna click erase, and we're gonna enter password, and it's gonna do it. Now, this is gonna take anywhere between uh, 20 to 30 minutes. So I'm going to pause this um, so you don't have to stick around for that long period of time and we'll be right back with the results. Okay, so it just completed. The, uh, it took about 20 minutes like I figured. Uh, it always says a little bit more. So once it's done, go ahead and close everything, including the disk utility. Open the um, driver and it should be just like that, just like how you had it previously. And there it is. There you have it. I hope this uh, video helped you out. Please comment, ask questions, and I will be more than glad to assist you and walk you through if, yeah, if you run into any trouble. Thanks again.
Peace.